weaponry of the realm. Many of the tools of destruction that have been developed for the use in melee. These can generally be divided into two groups, pole weapons and more commonly edged weapons. Pole weapons are spears and halberds. Do the most damage but are generally require two hands to use. Edged weapons like swords are more common but can be wielded one hand and handed and do less damage unless they're two handed swords. Among the crude works of well thumbed fiction on these shelves you find one of the mages journals, written in a neat hand. Then it's only been here for a few months. It seems they plan to raid nearby settlements as boldly as possible until Avernum brought more troops here, and then escape to the surface. One interesting note, the journal makes occasional oblique references to a big theft of some sort of statuette from the Weirdies. <laughs> Calling them Weirdies is not really acceptable. Seventy percent chance, huh? Bar of iron, bar of iron, fur, incense. I don't know. I got in there, but I don't see the thing. Maybe it's over here? I see a little line there, but that might just be the edge of the water there. Where could it be otherwise? Oh, I see. I think. Aha! Disarm! Disarm! Disarm? No, oh, that wasn't it either. Doggone it. I don't have any special items. I'm not special. I also have too much crap. I can't pick anything else up. I think I'm going to go back to the fort and sell this stuff, and then I'm going to come back here and look for that statue some more. Hope I'm not wasting too much time. It's only day three. I hope I can sell stuff here. Wipe all the mold off your feet before entering. What's wrong with you people? You're savages! <laughs> Gotta find the quartermaster. <laughs> oh, well, while we're in here... Can't make me. 
Maybe there's not a quartermaster here. That would be kind of annoying. Identify? I don't think I got anything that... Oh, I did get... Oh, she... They, we figured it out already. Nature lore charm. Apparently nature lore is an individual skill. Are you a quartermaster? The one with a friendly attitude. She radiant smile. Oh, okay. The long robes have been repaired many times. She shakes her hands. Hi, Marion. Hi. What you doing? Research in Maltrex Cave, but everything seem up here seemed more important, so I came to Fort Emergence. It's Motrex. Poor old Motrex. There were five dragons in Avernum. Motrex was the oldest and kindest in the Empire. In the Empire War, and of those jerks tried to slay him. And once he received weaken him, he died after a long illness. Aww. After that, the place had many too many sad memories for us. I mean, me and the captain over there. Dragon was your friend? She briefly relived some sad memories. Yes, he was. He was a strange and old. I could never truly understand him. But, well, yes, we were friends. In his age and weakness, he understood much more uh, what it was to be human. Wish I could have been able to meet him. He starts to respond as soon as the struggle to hold back to your Sorry. I... <laughs> Sorry. I feel bad now. Poor Motrex. they ended up. Okay, so we don't know where the original heroes wound up, but we know where these guys are. I know where the original heroes wound up. I'm not telling, though. Lots of barracks. Okay. I think we're just gonna go to one of the towns. Follow the road. Oh, you're aware of the bandit activity. You dealt with the situation by killing the bandit's leader. They seem both surprised and pleased by the news. Let's work for them. Yay! I did it. I think that goes to the teleporter, so this is the way to the towns. Kind of a wandering group of merchants. There are five of them and a handful of guards leading at two lizard-drawn wagons. Well, at least they're trying to lead them. The giant lizards are notoriously mean-spirited and stubborn creatures. Uh, when they have their own particular ideas about where they want to go. Still, with work, the merchants are managing to make their way down the road. When you get closer, the leader says, Welcome, friends. I am Arvid the Merchant, exclus uh, exclusively serving the entire New Kotra area. May I help you? Sure, if you can buy stuff. I'm not getting a very good deal from you. Oh, I didn't identify this chainmail. It's probably steel or iron or something. So that... Sell that, that, and that. Oh, come on, really? This guy's giving me a terrible deal. A large cloud of bats fly overhead. And surprisingly, bats are not an uncommon life form in the underworld. Okay, so these bats are just. Batty. Alchemy. Ironworks. Rainbow design around the edge of the sun. Aww. Hey, nice shop. Thanks, I run this shop with Nance. Nance? 
to make the best iron weapons you're likely to find. You can purchase them if you've got some gold. Also sell all their stuff. I'm sure I can unload it on somebody. It's Nance. So I've been through a lot since the Empire sent us down. We were very close, so much so that we just weren't approved on the, of on the surface. If you know what I mean. My goodness. And we got separated. How? We live in Kotra when the Empire War hit. They blasted our town apart. We were lucky to escape. Got separated when we didn't find each other for months. Then we heard about this settlement near the surface. There was no way we could stay away. Take it you want to return to the surface. She grins viciously. We will be we will be back on the surface someday. No two ways around it. It was wrong of them to throw us down here. It's all it's up to all of us to make them pay for their crimes. Okay, you buy stuff and it's also dirt cheap, but whatever. I'm not gonna you know, fight about it. Still surprised that you can just pick locks. There's Nance. Hey, Nance. Gentle looking blonde one with a kind face sitting at the table. She's sharpening a small knife. She smiles at you as you approach. I'm Nance. Hi. What you doing? I was, oh, I mainly help Elspeth run her shop. Not what I'd choose as a path, but there you go. Don't seem very happy with your work. Dark look passes over her face. I cared for horses when we lived on the surface. Empire exiled us and took away our entire life's work. This is one of the many reasons I want to return to the surface. Eh, just about everyone in Avernum. All of us were sent to live in the pits because of who we were. Because we refused to fit in, to conform, to submit to unjust standards. This is normally gentle face is a steely, determined expression. Every day we live here is an injustice. Injustice we will all gladly face death to right. Very brave statement. She looks a little embarrassed. I've been told I have a bit of a tendency to go on a s go on and speechify. She grins. But it's fun, so I'm not going to stop. And Eric and Goints don't really want to talk to everybody in town right now. Murper. Hi, cat person. Murr. There's a Nephilim sitting behind the counter chopping mushrooms. It's not too unusual. Some Nephilim have made peace with humans and have been living among them. A few, but not many. Mur, my name is Hummer. Welcome to my shop. Not often that we see a peaceful Nephil. Many feel that way about us, but I see Nephil in front of me who has the honor of being chosen to go to the surface. I know there is hope for peace. We and humans must work together. Empire is foe enough for both. I agree. Spits annoyed. I don't blame you. They're a bunch of jerks. It's like a food vendor. Spark is dedicated to all those lost in the destruction of the original Kotra. You will always be remembered. Aww. Never forget Kotra. Meet a hard working group of new Cotran farmers working hard to get mushrooms to grow in the rocky ground. They nod to hello to you and resume their work. Okay, so we just saw Cotra. So New Formello is up there. Formello has posted a group of guards near this bridge. They seem worried about you at first, but you convince them to let you by. As you pass, one of them gives you a warning. Watch out for bugs. It's the south, big bugs. We're here to keep them away from town. There's been lots of things nesting in the south. And for the advice, you move on. Bugs, huh?
Maybe I can help with that. Shit racks. You know, twisting winding tunnels lined with discarded skins of large insects and filled with the sound of alien chittering. Constantly feel you are under the gaze of a multitude of insectoid eyes. Small cavern to the north, you see hordes of chitracks. The hostile alien carnivorous insects have been hung rapidly migrating up from the lower caves. And a hungry vermin approaches and tries to devour you. Good luck! It never stops. Okay. wonder how long I could keep this up. I mean, do they eventually run out, or is it just one of those... Ow. Things. Well, we know where this winds up. Oh, good grief. Well, I'm gonna go do some stuff. Uh, just a sec.